Three minutes, Tony. Be right there, Sarge. Luke's here, isn't he? Couldn't tell you, mate. Oh, I'll kill him if he's late. I warned him not to be. Dave, you could have a scout around for him, see if you can find him, could you? What, make yourself late? No way. You're the one who should keep a track on him. Morning, Luke. Oh, morning, Sarge. Been here long? Well, Tony said not to be late, Sarge. Sarge? Morning, Sarge. Morning. Morning, Sarge. Morning, Sarge. Morning, Sarge. Morning, Sarge. Morning. Right. Where's Tony? Saw him a minute ago. He's uh, lost something, Sarge. Luke? I don't know, Sarge. I haven't seen him yet. Right. OK. Dave, Sam, Sierra 2-1, refs at 10. Narika, Reg, 8-5, refs at 9. Jamila, Gary, beat two, refs at nine, and Polly... Sorry, I'm late, Sarge. Got held up. Polly, I'd like you to take beat three, that's refs at ten. Tony, you and Luke, Sierra one, refs at ten. Check that theft from a motor vehicle. And one more thing before we finish. Gary has had a letter of thanks from a member of the public. Who sent that then, Gary? Your mum. <laughs> I reckon he must ask for those, the number he gets. It's from a Mrs Hedges, and she wants to thank him for saving her husband's life. I know there are some in this room who'd think twice before giving mouth to mouth to a man in that state. But Gary just did it. Well done. Okay, that'll be all. Out you go. I want a word with you. You report to me first. You're not off the leash yet, you know. But don't blame him. You're the one who was late. You knew, didn't you? Did they put you up to this? To what? You told me to be early and I was early. But that's no good if everybody else in the building knows but me, is it? When I was flying around the building... Tony, I... Luke, Sarge, any problems? No, Sarge. Luke? No, Sarge. Theft from a vehicle, got the details. Yeah, apart from that, is Tony explaining everything? Yes, Sarge. PC stamps are a very good explainer. Good. Because the first couple of weeks are always a challenge. Need all the help you can get. letter that Gary McCann got. What was Apple about? That was from the public. To get your extra performance points. To get the right number of points, or well, management decide you are not performing. So even someone like Gary gets marked on his job? Oh, yeah. Marked like a schoolboy. Do you, uh, get marked on how I'm doing? Yes. I'm not looking to make any points on you, Luke. Just pay attention to what you're told. I don't want to pick up any bad marks either. All right? That's all right by me. Morning. Does Jenny Davis live here? What for? For me chain, Darren. What you go and call them for? Maybe come in, please. Because it's been stolen, that's why. For pity's sake, they can't do anything, can you? Maybe come in? Yeah, yeah, come in. If something gets nicked from your car, then you call the police. That's what you do. You might, darling. Yeah, well, it's my gold chain, isn't it? So I do what I like, right? Well, so maybe we could get down some details. Like where your car was when this happened? Sunday morning. The car was on Newley Street while I was in the Bell and Badger. That's not what you told me. I think we might get uh, a bit further with this if uh, we talk to you one by one. So uh, why don't you and I go in the kitchen? PC Ashton, talk to you in here, Jenny. Well, I still don't see what good it'll do. What can you tell me about this? Miss Davis? <laughs> Don't worry, just sit down. Let's, let's just sit down, eh? Come on. Let's sit down there. Come on. I'm sorry, I can't take it. What? He's lying. Don't worry, we get a lot of that. No, he's lying to me. I know he is. What about? Sean Marshall, what's this? I'll scare where my chain is. Are you saying she stole it? Gold chain with a ruby pendant, ask her. Have you told Darren about this? Joking, aren't you? He'd slap me. Does he do that? You saying he beats you up? I can put up with a lot of things, but not when one of his... and someone nicks me jewellery. Check my insurance, but I doubt I'm even... Don't tell him I told you, will you? I don't think there's much more we can do, Mr Carter. Please. I just want my chain back. She says he eats her. 
She make a complaint? Not in so many words, but she's scared of him. I know she is. Actually. Look, she knows who took the change. She gave me a name and address. They're playing silly games with us. No, don't go back. She doesn't want him to know. She's frightened of him. So? Well, she gave us the information. Couldn't we follow it up? What, you mean get the poor girl her jewellery back? We could try. We're not a recovery service. All she wants is her jewellery. Come on, Tony. A nice girl like that. It's just not right. Nice girl like that, is it? You know what I mean. All right, Mr. Sensitive. Let's follow it up. It's a bit smart, isn't it? She wrote it. Are you Sean Marshall? Yes, that's me. We're making inquiries about some stolen property. A gold chain belonging to Jenny Davis? The chain's been stolen. Chain? I don't know about any chain. What's this? Do you know Jenny Davis, Miss Marshall? It's Mrs. Marshall, actually, and I'm her husband. Jenny Davis or Darren Carter? No, we don't. What is this? It's a formal allegation of theft, sir. Miss Davis told my colleague that she thought your wife might have the property. Well, we don't. What do you want? You want to come and look? You're very welcome to look. It's ridiculous. But you can look, can't they? We haven't stolen anything. Can't you, uh, hurry it up a little bit? Excuse me. No need to lift the floorboards, Luke. It's not the Brinks mat job. Just a sensible look around here. Yeah? You start with the uh, obvious places. Mrs. Marshall's jewellery box. Mrs. Marshall, could you show me where you keep the jewellery, please? How do you account for it being there, then? I've no idea. This is absurd. It's your body. You got the evidence. I need to arrest you for Wait, wait, there's, wait, there's something wrong. Mr. Marshall, please. Do you not have to say anything? You're not listening to me, son. Mr. Marshall. All right, step away from my wife. Mr. Marshall, shut up! Shut up, Mr. Marshall! That is enough! Stop it! Anything you do say may be given in evidence. We can't do this. Oh, yes, we can. And you're nicked as well. Got an arrest, Sarge. Good. Well, tell us what happened. Allegation of theft, Sarge. The victim gave us the name of this lady, Mrs. Shah Marshall, and I found this stolen property at her house. How did you find it? During a search, Sarge. We were invited to have a look by Mr. Marshall here, Sarge. We had no idea it was there. I tried telling you. Keep officers. quiet, please. I'll have your say in a minute. So you're invited to search. Where did you find it? I observed it at the back of the dressing table drawer, Sarge when Mrs. Marshall removed her jewellery box. Oh, well, although I had asked Mrs. Marshall for the jewellery, she failed to mention or show me that item. Luke, just relax and tell us what happened in plain English, yeah? Right, well, well she couldn't account for it. We had the evidence, so Tony said to nick her. What for? Theft, Sarge. Right. You got anything to say about that? I told you. We... And I told you to keep quiet. I'm talking to the lady. You got something for that theft, are you? Yes, Sarge. Luke's made all the run on this one. I'm letting him take the lead. What does that mean exactly? Mm, he's got his own ideas about it, Sarge. We should find out in an interview. If this is some kind of object lesson for Ashton's benefit, no doubt, make it a short one, will you? Sarge. But the jewellery was found in your drawer. I'm not disputing that. So how do you account for it? I can't. It must have got there somehow. I know that. You must have some idea. I don't. Well, why not? You told us earlier you didn't know a Jenny Davis. That's right. So how come she knows you? Look, your husband's not in the room now, Mrs. Marshall. So we can stop beating about the bush. Jenny Davis claims that her boyfriend's been seeing you. Is that true? 
Why else do you think we came round your house? So is that true? For the benefit of the tape, Mrs Marshall nodded her head. Have you ever been in his car? Yes. Right. The chain that was recovered from your house was taken from his car. Did you take it? No. So how did it get in your house? I don't know. Did he give it to you? No. I'm sorry, this is just not good enough. The chain was reported stolen. Jenny Davis accused you. And you had it. That constitutes a case for theft, unless you can give us an explanation. I'm not arguing with you. It's just an awful mistake. I can see why your husband might believe that. But theft is theft, Mrs Marshall. I'm sure if you give back the chain and tell them I'm sorry, I'm sure they'll let it drop. I beg your pardon. I'm sure they don't want a big fuss. Just tell them I'm sorry and ask them, will you? Please. Is this the jewellery? Yes, it is. It's evidence. We need to have a word with you. Jenny told us where it was. Sean Marshall had it. You do know Sean Marshall, don't you? <laughs> All right. So I had a bit of nookie with the Marshall woman. What are you going to do? Shoot me? That's not one of our options. Lads, look, I'm sorry. The little lady had me in a corner. She finds a receipt for a necklace. So what am I going to say? I bought it for my other girlfriend. <laughs> no. So Jenny found a receipt for the chain? Yeah, a receipt, but no jewellery. So I made up a story. You can see why, can't you? Frankly, no, Mr Carter. You sent us off on a wild goose chase. I apologise. But strictly speaking, that was her, not me. Jealous women. Who can explain them? Look, I lied to Jenny about the theft. She called my bluff. Mrs Marshall suggested that you might drop the complaint in return for an apology. She said that? Well, of course, I mean, I'll have to sort things out with her myself, but... Nothing official, no. Isn't that for Miss Davis to decide? Mr Carter never gave her the chain, so it was never hers. She'll be fine. I'll see to it. You'll need to sign a retraction statement to that effect. Of course, so long as that's the end of it. I'll go get the chain back, won't I? When you come to the station and sign the retraction. And we really do hope that's the end to it, Mr Carter. Well, why shouldn't it be? Well, that's up to you, but we don't really want to come back here and deal with another complaint. Come on, we're done. Complaint? Like what? Like taking it out of Miss Davis. Just think that's your business, do you, chum? Out! Just so you've been told. By who? Your police force. See you at the station, Mr Carter. You're not her protector. We don't get involved. Not till after he hits her. And only then if she complains. Mr Carter's retraction means there'll be no charges. Thank you. I said it was nonsense. And we won't be charging you with assaulting a police officer, Mr Marshall. But next time, show a little bit more self-control, eh? There won't be a next time. Let's hope not. Shouldn't have been at this time. Oh, shut up, Mike. Stop moping. I'm not moping. I'm just not comfortable with it, all right? Comfortable with what? That we let men like Darren Carter beat up their girlfriends even when we know about it. You're getting hung up on this. I'm not. She told me. It's like a cry for help, isn't it? She's chose to be with him. I mean, she must get something out of it, whether he slaps her or not. Well, don't you ever wish that you could do more? Yeah, I do. But that's different. Different like what? Well, this one's bringing on herself, isn't she? I mean, she used us to embarrass him. Well, he wasn't embarrassed. OK, to embarrass Mrs Marshall. I don't think Mrs Marshall was embarrassed either. So what are you saying? Well, look, Jenny calls us in. It just doesn't add up. Well, why did she do it? And what did I miss? I'm just worried about her. I'm just worried about there's something else up. I might regret this, but we're going to swing by and check, all right? Thanks, Tony. I'm not doing it for you. Well, well, well. I assume you know Darren Carter, Lucy. No. Come 
that off it. So what are you doing here? We had some business to sort out. Now we're finished and we're leaving. Business with Darren Carter? Private business, yes. Tony, Mrs Marshall put something in her bag. I think it's a video cassette. Would like to show me, please? Like I said, it's private. Mrs Marshall? It's mine. Mrs Marshall, please. Why did you try to hide this? Why are you doing this to us? Why don't you leave us alone? Because I want to know what's going on. Well? I'm sick of it, Mike. Then let me deal with it. We've tried to keep it quiet and it hasn't worked. Mrs Marshall, if you have a confession to make, we can go down to the station. Confession? I've got an accusation to make about Darren Carter and that bimbo accomplice of his. It was Mike's idea. So where was this advertisement? In the local paper. He said it would be all right because they were another couple like us. And what did the advertisement say exactly? Straight couple. Seek same for adult fun. No strings attached. What, uh, like a force? Yes. Uh, I, I never touched the other bloke there. No, no, of course not. You've got standards, right? So how many times did you meet the four of you? Twice. First round at our place and then again at theirs. Sean stopped it after that. She's got better instincts than me. That's women for you. I'd never ever ask her to do something she's uncomfortable with. And this was totally voluntary on your part, Mrs Marshall? Yes. I love my husband. I did it for his sake. All right, but I'm wondering what the problem is here. So far, you haven't described anything illegal. Something was wrong the second time. Yeah. The man, Mr Carter, he was really egging the girl on. Like a performance. The girl being Jenny Davis? Yeah. It was only afterwards I understood why. They made this video. Of the four of you? Yes. Without our permission. So how did you find out? Mr Carter came to sell it to us. He said it had cost a considerable amount of money to make. And if we didn't want to buy it, he'd have to make his money back selling it elsewhere. You didn't take that at face value then? He was trying to blackmail us. This may seem very strange. I'm a very private person. Doing what we did, that's one thing. But other people looking at it. How much was he asking? 800 quid. Did you pay? Not then. Mike refused. And then the phone calls started. What phone calls? Mr Carter kept phoning me. Telling me he'd shown the tape to his friends. Friends, he said. Who wanted to? <laughs> wanted to? It's all right, Mrs. Marshall. I think we understand. He's been harassing you. He said. If we didn't pay, it'd make trouble for us. And so when your officers came round. You thought they were there for the video and not the necklace? I didn't know anything about the necklace. So you paid him then? 800 quid of my own money. Do you think he's done this before? To other people? I bet my pension on it, Mrs Marshall. So you've got a tape? Yeah, I'm taking it through to CID. How did you talk them into that? Well, by promising to be discreet. She's angry. She wants someone to pay for the way she's feeling. Yeah, all right, Tone, thanks. I think I can handle it from here. You want to see what CID think? Is Liz around, Sarge? No, she's in court. Why? Well, there's a lady downstairs alleging blackmail and she'd prefer female officers. Why? Well, it's personal. She's embarrassed. Well, what's it about? This tape is of her and her husband. Someone's asked her for money to take it out of circulation. Was well, anyone seen what's on it? No, not yet. Well, someone should. Yeah, well, I don't think it's a good idea, Sarge. 
Well, Liz isn't back from court all day. All day? Yeah. Come on. Thanks. Thanks, Tony. We can manage. It's uh, young Luke's work that's brought all this to light. Well, so we're on the case now. I just thought it might be a useful lesson for him. Yeah, I'd see it through at the end. It's all right, Sarge. I'm not that bothered. No, no, no. Tony's right. You might learn something. Sit down. They put such crappy music over stuff like this. It's good picture quality, though, isn't it, for a homemade? Hmm. Luke's informant's involved in this. There. That's the Marshal woman, isn't it? So that must be, uh, Jenny in the mask. <sighs> well, she's a very interesting informant. She, um, she looks different from when I met her. CID will be looking for more evidence to substantiate the allegation. That's when your money may be recovered. Where's the tape? Well, they'll need to hold on to that during their inquiry. So when can I have it back? That's evidence now. Evidence? If there's a case to answer and it goes to court, it's evidence. The judge should order the tape to be destroyed after the trial. When will that be? Maybe months. Much too early to say. Well, I have to testify. Probably. So the price of stopping these animals is my private life gets dragged through a court? Yes, that's the hardest part of blackmail cases. And I should warn you that the money could be evidence, if they dispute ownership. <sighs> you mean I could wait months to get my money back as well? Yes. Listen, Sean, I know this. Damn you, Mike Marshall. You won't find anything I can't account for. I'm DS Beach. This is DS Bolt, Sun Hill. We're going to take a quick look around, all right? Thank you. This is a lot of money, isn't it? Hey, Tom. Look at this. Williams, Reed, Healy, Baker. There's about half a dozen tapes here. They're all named and dated. So what's the story, Darren? No story. What I do in the privacy of my own home with consenting adults is my business. Yeah? Did you go along with that? Yeah. Sean Marshall doesn't. She can say what she likes. It's her word against ours. So what about the tape she gave us and this money? The tape was a present and that money's mine. There's no connection. All right. Downstairs, you nicked. Looks like you've got mixed up with the wrong bloke because if he's got form for this or anything like it, you can't say you were just doing this for a laugh. It won't wash. Well? It wasn't my idea. Good girl, but you can save the tears, because I've already seen your act, if you know what I mean. And tears aren't part of it. How dare you! Yeah, yeah. Let's just hear how it is, OK? So what about the necklace, Darren? Did you plant it? Give yourself some more leverage for your extortion? An extra nudge? Was that the idea? <laughs> That'd be telling. All right, Darren, let's go. She's saying to you. She put the same act on for DS Bolton. Take it personal, Luke. I don't think I've got the right instincts for this job. Of course you have. You said you thought it smelt and it did. You just had the wrong victim. You reckon? We've all been there, mate. Taken in by a pretty face, believe me. They're nicked. You had the last word. That's what counts. 